In this video I'm going to describe how I use a smart annotation on pages for iPad to revise and correct listening comprehension exercises. This is uh, one of the exercises uh, I've prepared um, for my lessons. It, has, uh, it is about uh, a real story, uh, a father from Northern Ireland who took his children uh, on holiday during term time while they were supposed to be attending school. The case was taken to court uh, and there were different decisions um, being reached. So what you have here is the, um, the exercise. Uh, my students had to fill in the gaps for, for six different sentences. And what I prepare as well is um, the transcript. Uh, in this case, it was um, a news item on the radio. So this is the transcript of what the host, um, the man involved, uh, and a journalist, uh, this is what they say. So when I go through my students' answers, I show them the transcript and I can annotate both the exercise and the transcript. So for example, the first question was about uh, it said John Platt and the correct answer is lost. So this is what I'm projecting for my students with my Apple tree in my class. John Platt lost his case before the Supreme Court. This is not something I've invented. This is what, what the host says and what I'm using with the smart annotation tools I'm using the highlight tool, in this case I like green. So he's lost his case at the Supreme Court this morning. So when I find all the answers or the sentences or parts of a sentence that give me the key to the answer, I'm highlighting it in green. The second question Second sentence said, John Platt held the view that a child is only required by law to show mm -mm attendance to school. The correct answer, if we go here, smart annotation, John Platt had argued that all the law all the law required of him was to ensure that his child attended, attended school regularly. So we need to change it a bit, but this is the important thing, regularly. I'm just going to undo it. I'm going to use regularly. And that's the key word. The way the sentence appears here, I would change it a bit and I would probably say with the pen tool to show regular attendance. So what I'm, what I'm doing, I'm using the smart annotation tools. If I make it bigger or smaller, my handwriting doesn't change. It goes with the text and it changes uh, at the same size. If I made the text bigger, again, because it's smart, that my handwriting would become big as well. So what I tend to do, as I say, I combine both the exercise worksheet and the transcript um, file. And what I do, as I say, I tend to highlight the key words, the key uh, information. So for example, disruptive, a disruptive effect. Again, if I decided that this is too small, for my screen and I want to make it all big, okay, I can make the font bigger, but what I have um, highlighted remains 
uh, highlight it because it's smart. It can become better. It's it's rather good for for using the classroom. So what I do, two things basically, highlighting, or if there's an expression that I like and I would like to, to draw my students attention to it, for example, um, I don't know, imagine I was interested, this expression still remains shocking. I could um, maybe circle it or handwrite on it. Or for example, this is the answer to question number one. This is the answer to question number two. This is for number four, I think. So I can, as I say, highlight, write, circle, underline. And of course, I can delete whatever. Whatever I want. So I do find smart annotation really interesting for my lessons. And uh, with listening exercises, um, this is just an example that, that I wanted to, to share with you.